hi guys welcome to jd's kitchen and thank you guys for stopping by today we are going to be making this amazing delicious egg rolls recipe this was one of my favorite lunchtime snacks when i was in secondary school so we're going to jump into the ingredients of course you need eggs so we're going to start by prepping our eggs i'll be using 10 hard boiled eggs i'll boil them for 15 minutes for our dough i'm going to be using four cups of flour one teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of salt and some sprinkles of nutmeg for the <laughs> for that flavor i'm going to be using two eggs i'll be using one quarter cup of sugar and then i'll be using four tablespoons of butter i would also be using some water you guys watch till the end to find out how much water i used two tablespoons of powder milk this is optional so let's jump into the process i'm going to combine all my dry ingredients together so i put in the milk all the dry ingredients i showed you guys earlier just pour it inside and then mix it up after mixing up all the dry ingredients i'm going to go ahead and add in my butter i would mix it up until i realize that my flour becomes crumbly like bread crumbs i'm going to mix it up until it gets to that point and then i will go in with my eggs or i will go in with all my wet ingredients so i start by putting in my eggs and then i would slowly get in with the water you guys never take a recipe and put in everything and then put in all the water if your recipe tells you that use half cup of water please don't pour in all the half just keep doing it slowly and slowly and slowly and then you're going to end up realizing how much water you use so when i presented my ingredients i showed you guys a full cup of water but i did not use all i there was i'm going to show you guys what is going to be left you can see that i've been adding the water slowly slowly i am not going to put all the water at a time no matter what recipe i'm following even if you tell me that you've done that recipe a hundred and one times i don't even if it's a recipe that i have been using that i maybe came up with and i liked it i will still not just go ahead and pour it like that i will do it slowly So you guys i'm done with my dough and it looks good i'm going to set it aside okay i didn't use all the water i'm so sorry i didn't show you guys but i think i left like one quarter it was a full cup of water and i left like one quarter so that's why i insist on slowly you guys my egg one of them burst open because i was focusing on my dough and it was past 15 minutes and i left it on the fire so when i took it out i just put it in cold water for some people they like to um, open up their eggs under running water because it makes it really easy but that way you get your eggs so wet that you would have to use like a paper towel or something to wipe it one tip when you're making your egg rolls you don't want to insert um wet eggs into your dough it's going to change the format of your dough you know how dough is like when you add the slightest drop of water it changes the 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 texture of your dough so you don't want to do that make sure your eggs are dry okay so for me mine were dry and then i went ahead back to my dough why i'm doing this is because um i have 10 eggs so i just want to divide the dough into 10 such that i have almost equal um portions that i'm going to use for my egg now we're going to move into the process of inserting the egg into the dough now people have different ways of doing this for some people they are just going to press it with their hands because they want their dough to be really thick but i do not want um the outer layer of my egg roll to be very thick this is the consist this is the 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 thickness the thickness that i like okay so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to do another video showing you guys three different ways that you can roll up your eggs for your egg roll there is another way that i grew up um, enjoying while i was in secondary school they used to call it british pear and then there's another shape apart from this round shape so i'll do a video separately showing you guys how to get your your egg um rolled up in the dough you guys can already see how i'm doing it but i'll show you guys all the other options that are um, that i grew up enjoying while i was in um, secondary school so i'm just going to cut off the excess part and then i'm going to roll it in my palm or roll it on the the board um you can do any one i'm going to do both i'm just going to try to roll it to get as smooth as it can get okay maybe that's why they call it egg roll because you have to roll it <laughs> i don't know anyways yeah so this is what i did and yeah
so this is what our egg rolls are looking like they're looking really nice so i just put my oil on the fire i did not allow my oil to get too hot once i just i just started seeing bubbles on my oil or in my oil i just go ahead to start dropping in my egg rolls you don't want to put it in too hot oil because it's going to cook on the outside it's going to get brown and almost looking burnt and it's not going to cook through and especially for you if you like it very thick like some people really make their egg rolls very thick so if you want your dough to be very thick then please you have to slow cook it and you don't have to insert it in you don't have to dip it in um very hot oil now look at that that's our egg roll Please do try out this recipe and tell me how it turned out. It turns out for you. I would really appreciate if you can come back to the comment section and tell us how it turns out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.